So now we turn to the next level of sophistication in the representation of the three-dimensional structure of a molecule. And this introduces the ball and stick model. And the ball and stick model has the ability to capture the three-dimensional geometry of a molecule that becomes increasingly important when we relate structure to function in chemistry. So we start out with CH4. We can write the formula for that as the structure that we've dealt with many times. But when we go to the ball and stick model, we see that the tetrahedral structure that's intrinsic to methane is captured in that ball and stick model. Now, of course, this representation requires some sophistication in the graphics uh, beyond perhaps what we could use with a pen and paper, but not entirely. So let's take a look at what we might do to uh, represent that bond angle as well as the geometrical shape of the molecule. So let's take methane. We know from the ball and stick model that it's three-dimensional and we know it's tetrahedral. So when we step through levels of sophistication, first with our molecular formula and then with our structural formula, we come to the question, can we represent that tetrahedral structure in a drawing? And the answer to that is, yes, we can. Because if we take that central carbon and we place two of those atoms in the plane of the paper. We represent that in a perspective drawing by a single line. That represents a bond in the same plane. But the tetrahedral structure we represent by connecting one of those hydrogens with a diagram that represents that it's coming out of the plane of the paper. And the fourth hydrogen we represent by a dashed line that represents that that hydrogen atom is behind or below the plane of this diagram. So that perspective drawing is something we can sketch with a pen and paper, but it captures the same information that's in that ball and stick diagram. It's very important. So in the transition from the ball and stick model to the space filling model, which is the next level of sophistication, the space filling model. This is a representation of the space-filling model for methane. And the space-filling model is very important because it reminds us that the electron distribution that we would calculate quantitatively and accurately, as we will in quantum mechanics, fills a domain around not just the hydrogen, but the central carbon in this case. So every time we see a ball and stick model, we have to remember that that ball and stick model compresses dramatically the distribution of electrons geometrically around that central carbon. But yet, you can see immediately that the space-filling model also has the potential for destroying important geometrical knowledge that's transmitted more clearly by the ball and stick model. So it's very important to keep both of these in mind, and that is that the electrons are filling the space, but by contracting that electron distribution, we can see much more clearly what the geometry of, of that molecule is. Then, of course, we can work our way back down through the simpler representations. But it's these four representations that can be applied, depending on the sophistication and the objectives of the discussion, to the formation of the same molecule, methane. Let's come back then just and do a quick review that when we have a compound, and let's pick glucose, because we've talked about benzene and acetylene and ammonia before. And glucose is this extremely important sugar that drives the organisms, provides the energy for organisms when it's combined with oxygen to form CO2 and water. And the formula for that, fortunately, is very easy to remember, because it's C6H12O6. The structural formula captures the single and double bonds and exactly which atoms are bound to which atoms in that structure. And then the ball and stick model captures not only the 
the bonds single and double or triple, but also the angle as best it can represent it between those bonding atoms.